Yo, dog, Kenny Boucher here. Next level painting. Hitting you up on the literal best of all days. We're just jumping into it. We got a Mantic model here, this Gen 1 mutant. Love it from the Plagued Faction. And we're jumping in to some Gamer's Grass battle ready bases. I've done a quick video on this before, but I'm going to show you that next level. Secret Weapon Miniature Wash Game. We're going to basically drop this dude off on a battle ready base. And I'm gonna just show you guys how just for a few more minutes of work, you can make it look even better. So we're gonna use some of that wash, we're gonna cut it with some flow improver, and we're gonna just start attacking the dirt. Now there is an amazing variety of washes from Secret Web Miniatures. I love them all, they all do different things, and they're really good for weathering. We're gonna be using soft body black and stone and various other colors in this video and now we're going to be isolating the big flat rocks we are going to be shifting those with the stone color which has you know, a little green and gray in it it's an interesting color combination i like it on the rocks it goes on real heavy but it does dry out a lot more muted especially if you go on with some flow improver we're just manipulating it using the improver to slow down the dry time now i'm going to switch over to dark sepia and we're going to just add another layer to the gravel We've already used soft body black, but now we're just gonna kind of, you know, introduce a couple of random patches of a more brown, warmer color to really mix it up. You can literally have 10 of these bases lined up, go through them really fast with this technique. The battle ready bases are battle ready, but for a few more minutes, look at how much more you can get out of them. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna incorporate a little bit more into the rock part. It's important to start to create separation. We're gonna start doing that with green, black. I love introducing greens into my rocks. I think it's so interesting. So we're just gonna feather a little bit of green in, swirl it around. We're not gonna let it pull up. We'll dry the brush off on my cardboard here. Let it do what it do. Soak up the excess so it doesn't dry into a big ocean. And now we're gonna start doing some quick stuff. We're gonna be diving into the Army Painter line. We're gonna grab this gray right here. It's a solid color. And we're gonna just dry brush some of it rapid fire into the rock after all those new washes dried. And it's gonna help give us a new level of contrast to where the rocks are completely different looking than the gravel. This is a quick light dry brush and you can see how much it's already doing. It's really important to do this on bases. Have the rocks be a different color than the gravel. And unfortunately with the battle ready bases, they're mostly the same color, not in every situation, but they do look beautiful and they are well manufactured. Moon dust, skeleton bone, these are some of my favorite dirt workups from the Army Painter. We're gonna do a couple of light dry brushes with these over the rocks and it's to start just popping out. Like I said, if you had 10 of these bases lined up, you, mat you glued them down. We did a quick 10 second video on how to glue these guys to your bases. You could have your whole army based in no time. If you're a pro painter out there, you should be using these bases and these products to get those models out the door faster, more consistently, all day, every day. Here you go, battle ready base, top left corner, looks great all on its own, but look what we did here to just cheat a little bit more contrast out of it. Love these products. Anyway, guys, play on, players.